First Alert 5 weather with Alex O'Brien. And welcome back. Apologies for those technical difficulties before the break, but it's going to be a really nice day ahead for Southern Colorado. 70 degrees in Pueblo, sunshine, just a few clouds, very light winds. Light winds in the springs as well with again a few clouds, mostly sunny conditions and a high of 63. So today we're near average with our temperatures that will change in the next coming days. Let's talk about the chance for any rain today. Now this morning we do have some of that activity lingering into the eastern plains and that will keep some of that humidity and cloud cover around where we could see redevelopment of showers later on. This will be around lunchtime or just after lunch. We'll see enough energy for maybe a stray lightning or thunder strike here, but that will clear out pretty quickly. I'm not expecting anything severe from this thunderstorm activity today. Then by tomorrow, we've got lots of sunshine. We've got even warmer conditions, and some of this warmth could lead to a few showers in the Pikes Peak region tomorrow. That's where they will favor. Not going to be much in terms of rainfall accumulation. A lot of that will dry up before even hitting the ground. So in the next couple of days, we've got heat. The heat will build with this ridge of high pressure that will linger for several days. So we'll be stuck in this dominant weather pattern that leaves us with temperatures climbing just about each and every day in the extended outlook. So today is looking nice, seasonable, a little cooler in the plains where we do have the clouds and extra humidity today to the middle 60s. Pueblo and the hot spots today at 70, 63 for the springs, Monument Hill, Woodland Park, some of the higher terrain zones get into the middle 50s today, mid 60s, Southern I-25 corridor for Walsenbury and Trinidad. By tonight, 30s, 40s, not too bad. Tomorrow, we'll add about 5 to 10 degrees to the highs, and we're back to the 80s in the plains. 70s for the most part along I-25, mostly 60s into the higher elevations. A warm day for Sunday, even warmer into next week. 78 on Monday for the springs, and then we stay in the mid to upper 70s through Wednesday, and then we have our first 80 degree day likely this year on Thursday. We'll be flirting with those record highs probably within five degrees or so all of next week. So we have this unusually warm pattern heading our way. Expect sunshine, mostly dry conditions for Pueblo, and likely our first 90 degree day by Thursday of next week. So for Canyon City, looking forward to today being the coolest of the next seven to 68. Up to the middle 70s tomorrow, we could see an isolated shower, but I wouldn't really count on it. We're mostly trending dry into next week, 80s likely each and every day. Really nice overnight lows as well, looking at some 50s there. And in Woodland Park, we've got 50s today. Say goodbye to 50s for next week. We've got 60s, 70s on top mostly staying dry for us, but again, we could have a shower tomorrow afternoon. The Sunday shower is definitely favoring the Pikes Peak region, and also check out those overnight low temperatures, 30s, 40s, nice warm pattern really setting up for us, Allison. I am so excited for Thursday. I, I'm ready for it. I'm, you are, finally? Yep, I, I am. Yeah, I'm coming <laughs> around. I've got uh, the sunscreen bottles all uh -huh. lined up um, because we, we all know that uh, uh, I rouge very easily. Uh, with, it's the daily the pick. Which sunscreen today? <laughs> exactly. Do I go with the 50 SPF or the 100? <laughs> I don't know. They're all about the same. Um, it's just, I don't know. But you've got some uh, fun options, though, for folks if they're staying at mm -hmm. home. Well, everyone's staying at home. Um, but if they're maybe looking for a science lesson to give their kiddo right now. Yeah, calling yeah. all teachers, calling all parents. I have a segment that I put up every Thursday on KOAA.com. It's called Taking Science by Storm. And every week I discuss the science behind a topic. And then we have a fun, easy, and most of the time free experiment to do. So this week's episode was about the seasons and all you need for the experiment is a flashlight. And just search Taking Science by Storm on KOAA.com. A lot of great activities you can do with the kids. Exactly, which uh, I think a lot of parents right now are figuring out how do they prevent the kiddos from going stir crazy. So <laughs> yep. it's a good option. All right, Alex, thanks so much. Still ahead.